Hello and welcome to a completely different type of video. Um, today I'm going to be answering a question that I have seen all over Instagram and YouTube and all over the place. Everyone's always wanted to know how to build a cheap Lego clone army. Um, if you look at the prices of clone troopers, I find they're much more expensive than any other primary primary um, faction of any other type of Star Wars character, purely because they're the coolest, if I do say so myself, but yeah. And there's also the most variety of them in both custom form and official form. This video will be about how to get the cheapest official clones. Um, basically, the answer, there's a few answers you can go for. People usually would just reply eBay or Bricklink, but then leave it at that. Um, I find there are much cheaper ways to actually like, like specific ways to actually get cheap clones. And I'm going to be showing and how I created a new almost form of legion for myself. So let's get into that. Okay, first off, sorry this is in um, portrait mode. It's just how I work my Bricklink. Speaking of which, the first thing you want to you're gonna want to do is go directly to Bricklink and just type in Clone Trooper or we well, yes, type in Clone Trooper. And this is the best way I find to make a Phase One clone army. It works much better than Phase Two. So you want to find your favorite Phase One trooper, like if you just go for the plain animated one. If you look at one that's in good condition, like that one's yellowed and whatnot, in your own country to save from shipping rates, obviously, you're gonna have to scroll down a bit, and then maybe you can find some for for cheap. But you know that's not always a guarantee. What I have always found to be a guarantee, though, is if you go to parts and then look at the individual elements that makes up the clone. Uh, Oh, no, parts, it's just that bit. <laughs> uh, yeah, so I always go through to the body first because I find they're cheaper. And if you look, you can pick these up for generally just like under a pound or just around a pound. Which is pretty good going, I'd say, as a general rule of thumb. And yeah, they're looking pretty good to me. But if you want to go even cheaper, which is also manageable, you can scroll up again and go towards go even further into the piece and just by the torso you don't even need to bother with the arms and if i look down here go back into this section go to my specific country i can figure out that i yeah you can get these for like under 50p a pop like look right there there's six for 30p each that's a great deal and I've just picked those up there, because why not? Let's follow my own tutorial, I guess. So going back to the video at hand itself, I want to make a custom 40 first. So I'm going to type in Commander Green here, and go to... Uh, if you look at the figure, he's generally one of the lower price clones, like I could see here for some for about £4, which is a pretty good deal, but I think I can get even cheaper than that. So if I go up, I can go again, go by his parts. And I'm just specifically interested in picking up his helmet because that's what's most distinctive about him. And then I go by to look at my country and look here, look how cheap they are. I can get them for under a pound. So yeah, I've already picked up a few of these helmets and you can see this one's already in my cart because that's something I'm gonna buy next. Yeah, just with a bit of postage isn't really that much altogether. And yeah, just with a couple of the parts I was interested in at, at that store. So yeah, picked that up as well. I've done this through a few stores now, so I've kind of taken away a lot of the UK's supply of Commander Gree helmets. And then comes the time when you put them all together. So here I have the um, plain P1 clone torso that I bought. Just with some random, just a head, it can be any type of head, and just any type of legs really. If they're just white or with a black hip, that'll do fine. They don't really need to be printed, but if you want to get the printed ones, you can, but they're much more expensive. So then I've got my grey helmet, 
and just two dark green arms, which are fairly cheap wherever you want to look for them. And then you just bring in the arms and put the helmet on the figure, and I think you've created a pretty good, just generic 41st P1 Trooper. What shows it even better is that I've got a couple here, so if I put them all together, like that, and then put the commander with them, you can see how I've basically created a purist 41st in phase one with the commander and just three troops because these actually do look pretty accurate to how the actual ones do just slightly more green and slightly more on their arms and helmet than what there actually is but if you just keep the green on the torso and legs to just the commander then I think that looks pretty good so yeah um, that's about this video it's just I find that sometimes breaking down figures is cheaper than actually buying them whole together. Um, I found this works a lot less on phase 2 troopers more than phase 1 because their helmets are much more expensive than these guys like as you saw you could pick these up for under a pound each and the torsos you can get for like a pound each as well so you're basically looking at two pound a clone which you should 100% buy a clone if it's two pounds unless it's unofficial of course. But yeah, thank you so much for watching this video. If you like this video, like the video. That's what the like button's there for. Um, comment if you found this tutorial useful. And if you want to see more forms of like tutorials from me. I don't know what other type of tutorial I could make. If you have any ideas, link it in the comments. And subscribe for more fun and awesome LEGO videos from me, I guess. Thanks so much for watching and bye!